So again, looking back as a 17 year old, I'm just really disgusted at the situation. Adam McIntyre, a once diehard fan of Colleen Bollinger, has come forward with some pretty crazy accusations about her. In a YouTube video, he claims that he was a ghostwriter for Colleen for years, and also that he had a personal relationship with her. So what's the problem? He was 13 when he started his relationship with Colleen Bollinger, and he's only 17 today. Welcome back to Inform Overload. We tell you what's trending on the internet. Subscribe for a different take on the news and follow us on social media so we can connect outside of YouTube. This next one is a little bit of a strange one, I have to admit. But before I go any further, disclaimer, I would ask you to keep an open mind and not jump to any conclusions. I would also like you to keep in mind that Adam McIntyre is 17 years old. Please don't send any of the hate to the people that we talk about in this video or any of the videos that we post on our channel. On April 28th, 17 year old Adam McIntyre posted a video about Colleen Bollinger called Colleen Bollinger. Stop lying. In this video, he claims that Colleen has been using him for years and taking advantage of how much of a fan he was of her. Adam says that he was a huge fan of Colleen since the young age of 13. He created fan pages for Miranda Sings in 2013 and 2014. He would tag Miranda Sings and then eventually Colleen contacted him. She complimented him on the fan pages and said that they were funny. But then they started calling and texting frequently. Adam was 13 at the time. Colleen was 33. Adam felt uncomfortable about the situation for a couple of reasons. Number one, his age and her age. Number two, allegedly Colleen would ask him to go to YouTube gossip pages and find out dirt about her fans, other YouTubers and rumors that were being spread about her. Adam's parents were also uncomfortable with the conversations that he was having with Colleen Bollinger. When Colleen and Josh got divorced in 2016, Colleen would confide in Adam about her marital problems. He said that that made him uncomfortable. Also, according to Adam, Colleen and her best friend, Corey DeSoto sent Adam lingerie, a matching set of lingerie that DeSoto was wearing wearing over his clothing in a live stream. Bollinger read Adam's tweet and said that they were funny and they said that they wanted to send him something. She and Corey said it would be funny to send a 13 year old lingerie and see how his parents would react. Colleen then sent the lingerie to his parents' home address. His parents found out and voiced their disapproval. His mother confiscated the lingerie. Here is a clip from that live stream that Adam shared in his video. <laughs> That outfit, screaming, homeschooled Christian university realness. <laughs> Adam, Cookie Ballinger said, hi, you are such a fashion icon and treated the <laughs> ugliest picture of me. This is honestly the worst <laughs> outfit. <laughs> He's so rude. What made you order these ugly clothes? <laughs> Adam. <laughs> this, those clothes are nasty. He's so rude. Oh my god, he's so sassy. <laughs> Your Twitter account is making me laugh so much. Oh my god, that makes me laugh. I want to send him something. Do you want the bra, Adam? <laughs> Adam do you want the bra and panties? I did get sent the lingerie, and immediately when it arrived, my parents were furious. They were so angry, and they took it away. I didn't know if they still had it and I asked my mom if she had it because she knew I was making this video. He then showed the lingerie to camera. So now we're gonna go forward a little bit to 2017. Colleen would ask Adam for video ideas. Ideas for social media, ideas for the character Miranda Sings. This is a weird thing to ask a teenager to do. A teenager who's also a big fan of you and who doesn't work for you officially. Apparently, Colleen had felt the Miranda Sings character had passed its time and she was looking for a way to revamp it. Colleen was also aware that the character was a little bit problematic and she didn't have fun doing it anymore because she would get backlash. The character Miranda Sings has been accused of being harmful toward disabled people. So I guess Colleen wanted to enlist someone to help her keep the character alive, bring fresh eyes to it, I don't know. Let me tell you something though, revamping a character with a huge following like Miranda Sings, like I mean, the character has a Netflix series. That is something that you would hire a public relations team to do or a manager. You wouldn't just like get your fan to do it. That's let alone a fan that was like a teenager. Adam shared this screenshot of a message that Colleen allegedly sent him. Right now I'm considering you my social media intern, but if things go well, we can talk about me hiring you part-time for an hourly rate. I don't like using your creativity and insight for free. So just know I'm not planning on taking advantage of your help and plan on making it more official if it works out that way. 
How does that sound, Queen? From that moment forward, Colleen gave him the password to the official Miranda Sings Twitter account. Then Adam started posting on the account, posing as Miranda Sings. He would be the person communicating with fans and he did it often. He did it all day and all night. After a tweet on the account that Adam had made was accused of being in poor taste, Colleen asked Adam to run the tweets by her before posting them so that she could approve them. So. Do you guys remember when Colleen was accused of queer baiting a few weeks ago? We didn't cover it on this channel, but I definitely saw it. The controversial video idea was that Miranda should come out as a fan of singer Megan Trainer. The thumbnail and the title and the way that she advertised the video made it seem like she was like coming out. And then when she came out, she came out as a fan of Megan Trainer. So she was accused of queer baiting. So apparently that idea was actually Adam's idea. He did get the approval from Colleen and she gave the go ahead. But then Colleen started getting hate online for it and people were accusing her of mocking the LGBTQ plus community. On March 27th, in response to a fan who was upset and offended, Colleen tweeted this. I agree with you and I regret it, which is why I deleted it. I'm deeply sorry. Miranda is a character. A lot of the time I base the character on people who are idiots. I will see people do something awful and then do it as Miranda to show them how idiotic it looks, but this shouldn't have been tweeted. Queer baiting is wrong, period. I'm the biggest supporter and ally of the LGBTQ plus community. And the fact that I disappointed people in that community is devastating. Miranda then sent Adam a message. After all, she gave the approval for that idea and now she claims that she didn't. It's all anyone is talking about. I'm really upset. I never would post something like that and now everyone thinks I'm homophobic. I'm really, really upset. Okay, so how do we know that Adam isn't just like a fan of Colleen and this is just like him trying to like, you know, gain some notoriety for himself or get views or whatever? Well, would his parents lie for him? When Insider reached out to Adam McIntyre, a person who said that they were his parent said that Adam is taking a break from social media because he's been receiving death threats and harassment. The person responding confirmed that Adam helped Colleen with social media posts and her content from December 2017 to March 2020. When the news broke, some people took to social media to say that what Colleen did to Adam was like textbook grooming. Here's a tweet. A 30 year old, especially one in a position of power, befriending a 13 year old and asking them for favors is textbook grooming. Normally 30 year olds are not seeking friendships with children, making them promises, sending them things. That is not normal. At this time, Colleen has not responded to any of Adam's accusations. Anyways, guys, that is all I have for you on this one. We will keep you updated on the story, but because of the nature of this video, we aren't gonna be responding to comments. But if you wanna keep watching IO, there will be a playlist flashing on your screen in just a few seconds. That is it for me, and thanks for watching.